Hello and welcome to another tutorial on graphic designing with Canva. My name still remains Bernard and let's get right into today's designing. So um, I would want us to design something like this. I used a template available and then you know did some few tricks here and there so i'll show you how to get all those tricks or how to you know use all those tricks again this flyer is actually not for anybody in particular so i just used some dummy tests and this actually looks okay for you know a simple as a simple flyer for any any business and let's get right into it so if you are new here please subscribe to my channel for such educative content and um, i would want you to leave a comment and uh, leave a question and anything you'd want me to touch on and I'll be I'll be very grateful if you do that. So let's get right into it. So this is a simple flyer I just did on Canva, and I would want us to get right into it. So when we come to our Canva our Canva page, our Canva homepage, For some time now, um, or in previous tutorials, um, I I don't use the sizes available. That is for the flyer and any other thing. Normally, this is where I'll come in and pick a flyer, and then it will give me some templates, and then it will even give me my workspace. And if I don't use any of the templates, then I just use the workspace with that particular measurement so or with this particular measurement but for some time and then like i said I, I i don't know for some reason i like using this very measurement tool i come to customize size and this is already on inches but at default when you come fresh it will be on pixels so you just have to change it into inches and then you type your 48 inches by 48 inches yeah, and I already have it, so it's just here. I'll just click it, and then it opens. It opens my work area for me. So this is my empty, empty work area, and then this is my templates. So we are looking for. A template like this is a template I customized so let's scroll down we we'll scroll down the templates scroll down the templates Yes, so this is it. This very, this very design, or this very template. So the name is Purple Phone Mockup Fashion Store Promotion Animated Instagram Posts. So this that's the name of of the 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 template. So if maybe you are scrolling down and you can't find it, you can just type this name and then you should find it. So. I click it now this is what I used I customized it so you could see some some yeah some things on it so this is what I used and we'll customize it to look something like this so let's get right into it so now you'd see the different different elements here this is a phone this is a phone um, it's a phone frame it's a frame but it's in the shape of a phone or it's, it's taking the shape of a phone there's also a phone frame but i i only use one so let me just delete this 
and then also deletes the shadow and i don't know for some somehow you know some of the templates looks um at first glance you think they are free but some of them have some hidden um hidden templates or sorry hidden elements that are for sale and this is one of them uh, you you know you can customize and after you are downloading you realize it's trying to you know download as download download with a free watermark and you can't see any free watermark or no free what no watermark sorry no watermark is visible to you so sometimes when it happens like that there are there are watermarks or there are elements that have watermarks hidden in the design so sometimes you just have to take your time and then look for them if you think it's okay and you can still use it for me since it's a shadow i think it's okay but i don't i'll not use the shadow though i'll use another alternative so i'll still go ahead and delete it and i think i'm now starting my design so this is how i'd want it or this is how i'd want it to look so now i need to insert my images or my image so now i come to images in the my menu available to me i come to my in images this is very one but just scroll down and i just i just got it here man using a credit card online that's the name of this particular image a man using a credit card online so if you can't find it you can just search it in the search bar and you should find it but it's just here for me because i recently used it as here at the same time also when i came to photos and then just scrolled i think one two three four the fourth line it's just there i don't know about you but mine is already here so let me just click it so if if you can't find it you just type into the search bar man using a credit card online so this is the image i am using or this is the image i'd want to use to represent any image also you would want to use so now i position my image and then uh, let me just stretch yes i think i think i'm okay with this so now again layers so it's on top of everything this is supposed to be a background or this i want it to be a background so i would want it to go to the far back so just select it and then send it to the back now it is it is far back i would want this strip to to go behind this image either i take the strip behind the image and when it goes behind the image meaning any any changes i do to this would not be visible on the image here it's only be visible here because it's gone behind the image so i think i'll just maintain it like that for now and then just reduce the transparency you know just create some nice effects i think let me just leave it at 51 and then now you see there's this is actually this is actually an image is 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 is, is looking like um I am taking a picture with the iPhone so we we'll just do the same thing and this is a trick I use so now I set this image already then I come to is see that I duplicate it or I just come and insert it again and now since this is a frame it accepts the image it's a frame so it accepts the image now after inserting the image it's it's not looking how i'd want it to look or it is not looking as how my my sample is looking or the sample i just designed is looking so what you can do is you can actually when you double click inside the frame it selects the image and then you resize 
but you don't resize it to the exact same size because now there's a reason why I don't resize it or I would not want to resize it to the same you know when you are taking a picture right um there is there is this how do I put this um you could see that the you could you could see the full or sometimes you could even see the the some part of the image in the camera and yet you don't see the whole thing outside the camera so it 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 should have some small overlapping just like how this is having some small overlapping just to you know stimulate the camera the phone camera kind of effect so I just have the same thing here so I think I'm not okay with it I am NOT okay with it so either I still double click and then I increase and just be playing around until I get the right thing so This kind of this kind of looks good or looks closer closer to mm -hmm. so when it's when it's directly on top you would not see the kind of or the effect you are trying to achieve. So we just make it slightly um Slightly over. I think this is too big. So now this yeah, I think this is okay. So let me just reduce it a bit. Yes. So you could see you could see the the image in the camera as if it's the camera, but. Then again, you could see the image outside also totally on its own because, you know, you don't expect to have or you don't expect everything you see to fit into the camera. So, you know, that kind of angling thing uh, or angling effect, um, I'm having troubles uh, explaining that, but I, I hope you get you get what I'm trying to, you know. So you know this this is the the effect, and it's it's not supposed to be directly on top because then there will be no need to bring the phone frame, so that at least at first glance you you would actually notice that there's uh, there's a phone or there's a um, yes there's a phone frame there to you know show the image. So I select on the background and then reduce the transparency a bit and again the focus is not on the background picture but it's actually on the image inside the the phone so something like that so i think i used yes i used 40 percent here so let me maintain the same 40 percent okay this is actually 45 so let me just drop it Okay, I think this is okay. So now you know it creates that kind of effect as the same image inside, but you could see that okay, um, it's it's having some kind of a different angle than the actual image. So you know you would kind of notice that it is it is an uh, sorry, it's a picture or the phone is trying to take a picture or they're trying to take a picture on the phone. So now let's put the the camera button so we just insert this round element position it and then just reduce the size and then position this in the middle and change the color to white so let me zoom in a bit
think I'm okay with this. So I just again this this all dummy text. I just wrote something we offer quality services. So I use that to replace this text and the text content. So in the text container. And you realize the container is longer because I think as I inserted the as I inserted or as I copied and then brought the text it, it went to the next line somehow it went to the next line if sometimes it doesn't really give you much trouble but I would want to avoid all troubles so then I just clear it so that everything will f be right in the box because if I stretch something like this and I would want to work on this image you realize it is overlapping so sometimes when I want to do something here it can give me troubles so we just resize everybody give everybody their actual size now um, I don't like the spacing in between the lines so I come to I come here and then try and then reduce it okay let me just leave it like this and think I'm okay now I'm I'm just maintaining the 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 the, the logo here because I don't have any logo to insert but again like I keep saying in other or in previous tutorials when you have a logo you just have to delete them you have to delete these elements and then you already upload your logo at the uploads and then you insert it and then you resize it. and the they are suggesting that you should put your logo here and i think it would be nice to put your logo here but again it is your design you can decide to put your logo somewhere here or you can even decide to put your logo on top of um on top of the phone anywhere you choose or anywhere you think it suits or to suit your design so I don't have a logo so let me just undo and maintain this logo now I I I have some text content here so I'm just copying them but I use this same text box this old text box here now you realize it's not aligned I am intentionally not aligning it because I would be bringing this this icons so this icons should rather align with this so this one should come and I just paste the information so it's basically a website basically a phone number a website and an email address so then I can come to elements and then insert a call I can set a call button sorry a call icon I'm very sorry a call icon so I click I like the first one and since there's black there's black in my logo and I think the logo itself is black and white so I'm I am not changing any other color let me zoom in a bit I'm not changing any color because you know it still blends with everything I wouldn't want to do anything wild I would do something with colors but let me just maintain this and insert so let me insert email I like this so I insert Now I was showing some trick in a previous tutorial. When I'm inserting icons like this, you know, as I am inserting or as I'm inserting, you could see that the 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 software gives you a suggestion of the size as you keep um, reducing, and then it keeps giving you the size or the size you've got into. So you see, it's zero point nine by zero point nine. And I can actually commit this to memory and then make sure the other ones too are 0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 0.0 
0.9 i think you see one is 0 0.9 and one they are almost the same so let me just maintain like that but if i can't or i don't remember how how i did this i just resize and then hover it hover it over the first one and you realize it's the same size if it's then i think i'm okay and then i insert oh sorry i think the core rather should come up and then the last one should be website so i'm okay with this it's aligned and i think i'm okay now it's it's looking as the original so now we insert some other other elements so we still come to your elements and then let's insert this round edge element and then position it to the same height of the phone and then change the color to black and then reduce the transparency and send it be right behind the phone so I just do backwards backwards and now it's behind the phone so let me zoom in and then just drag it to the right just a bit so you know it creates it had created this kind of 3d with the phone you know i don't know if if you could see you know it had created this kind of a 3d effect for the phone so it had made the phone actually 3d You could see the phone the phone has some thickness to it or some angle to it or thickness to it or 3d effect to it whichever one whichever one um is okay with you or whichever one you understand better so and then now i come and then still at this let me insert the sharp edge and then just create something here send it to behind the the phone let me maintain this color i i would i would just use some random colors let me choose yellow and then reduce the opacity and then maybe stretch it out a bit and duplicate this time around let me see if i can get a shade of blue let me see a deeper one and then increase so i keep saying that you know sometimes i want to play around with colors i want to play around with colors or per the elements i want to insert it has too many colors and it might you know it might distract my my communication or the communication on the flyer so what i normally do is i just reduce the transparency of that particular element that is having a wild color but I still, for some reason, want to use that element. I just reduce the transparency. And then it blends just a little bit with the whole design. So, you know, it takes focus. It takes the focus of it onto the main design. So, I hope I'm, I'm making sense with that. So, now I want to insert my social media. So, let me insert my Instagram. I like this. And then let me just position it here. So alignment. Yes. No, it should go up a bit, just a bit here. It's okay. Zoom in. And then do Facebook. Let 
I like this. So resize again the strategy I use for this. I know this is not the same size. Yes. So the same strategy I use either I hover it around about or over it and then it's close. So again you realize the top and then the down is is is, is on a straight line. So meaning it is even the same size. So I just drop it. Then let me just duplicate this text box and then just write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's just the social media handles at. So it's just to, you know, just to market the social media platform. And we are done. Simple flyer. Simple flyer. We are done. So let's keep practicing, you know, let's keep making mistakes and let's keep figuring things because the more you practice, the more you figure a lot of things out and yes so sometimes you want a design you don't know you are not getting inspiration for any design just go through the 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 templates go through as as long as you can if you can't decide on the theme you just go online and then search for that particular the particular field of expertise you would want to design a flyer for so maybe you want to design a flyer for a plumbing shop and you seem to not have an idea or which even theme to select just go online and then google um plumbing plumbing shop uh flyer something like that and you could have a lot of you know suggestions you may not have to do the same thing but you know just to pick inspiration sometimes i look on about three different designs to create something unique so Pick inspirations from three different designs, sometimes two designs, sometimes the first design I see it and I pick inspiration from it and then I design something. But then again, when I'm done, it will not look like the one I looked on or the, the one I pick inspiration from. So thank you for joining me and then please subscribe if you are new here and just leave a comment, uh, share and then give me a thumbs up so thank you for joining me and see you in our next video thank you have a wonderful day bye bye